All right, this is the defense. Double Mabel here. We're only sending four. We have the running back manned up, too. I like this. Great. Can I get a pick? Let's go. D-line pick. Man, that's the first D-line pick six I've gotten this year, if I can go all the way. Ah, come on, baby. I'm going to get after him here. Good. Beautiful. We got, yep. Yeah, that's just, that's so good, BLT. That's so good, BLT. Come on. He's in the same thing. We're throwing the same thing. It's open once again, Travis Hunter. Can we get there? What's up YouTube? Today we are have another inside the mind of BLT. Uh, we're talking about, I think this video is what, defense? on NCAA 25. So, you know, I'm gonna kind of showcase what I like to do on defense um, to, you know, get more stops. You know, this game, it's it's better on defense than I, I feel like Madden is um, with, you know, double A gap and stuff. But the spin move is still insane. So that's something that's gonna be a problem. But we got Arkansas versus Colorado here playing against someone else from my chat. So, um, and the thing about it is Rogue the CFP not being able to pick your playbook just makes these videos really tough to just play against randoms because it's like it's so team specific but let's just jump right into defense all right second three for him um let's see what we got oh all right i'm gonna play i mean his quarterback sales a throw on the run that's tough for him i guess all right let's go into you know what we normally run uh he's going to be in trips here um i didn't get my pass commit off oh good play I didn't have the running back manned up, so I had to chase him out of the backfield. So we just went with uh, a double and say, oh, good play. You know, we'll be fine though. That is frustrating to give up on, you know, that down. He's in this formation. I hate defending against empty out of this, but you know, I do like this defense a little bit better. So see if it works. Just call verticals. Yeah, we got good defense. When they call verticals, it's fine. It's literally fine. All right, this is the defense. Double Mabel here. We're only sending four. We have the running back manned up, too. I like this. Great. Can I get a pick? Let's go. D-line pick. Man, that's the first D-line pick six I've gotten this year, if I can go all the way. Ah, come on, baby. Man, it really seems like the only teams I get to use are Colorado and, and Texas in these videos. But, man, I just hate playing with teams that have bad quarterbacks. Like... When I can pick my team, I just don't understand why I would ever pick a team that just doesn't have one of the best quarterbacks in the game. All right, second and 10 here for him. We're going with just cover two. He's, is he gonna run that? Yeah, he's gonna run that. We got the edge seal though. We got the edge seal though. That's great tackling. That's just great fundamentals, man. That's what we teach all spring. All right, third and 10 here for him. I think we're just gonna go with more double Mabel. Sin or just, we're just gonna go with cover two on that side. Sin five. Good, we're screaming at him. We're screaming at him, good, come on. Man, and this is the type of stuff, I mean, you just gotta sometimes just win a game on defense. Like, we're controlling the game on defense. It's gonna be very difficult for him to, we've already seen it, to be able to move the ball this game. So, I mean, he just can't set protection for this five-man blitz. So, we're gonna go ahead and put a mid-read in the middle of the field. Normally, I don't think they do much, but I feel like here in this situation, it'll be good for us. Oh, no, no, it's just a bad user. Just a terrible user. He, he just ran two crossers and I used her the wrong one. I had a guy, two guys actually in that area. I don't really know why I followed that crosser, but you know, it just goes back to user discipline, man. You just gotta have a disciplined user. That time I didn't and I paid the price for it on fourth down. And it always seems like I can't get off the field on fourth down in some of these videos, but it's all good. First and 10 for him. Still gonna be tougher to move the ball this entire game. Great user though right there. Took away the cross that ended up getting open. All right, we're going more cover two here. See if he can beat it. He's gonna have a drag. Ooh, he's throwing in my user, man. He's trying my user for what? For what? All right, we turn zone drops here. This situation, you know, if you guys wanna know how to run this blitz, you know, I did do a breakdown on it. Uh, right really when the game came out. I like this, I like this. Who's he throwing to? There's no way, bro. These dudes just get away with... Oh, he dropped that? Bro, it looked like he caught that. His badge lit up and everything. How did he drop that? I mean, it should have been... Oh, he did drop it. It should have been intercepted, but... All right, another fourth down. He's going to go empty here. Um, We're going to have a her hook and an inside third. Crosser. That shouldn't be open. Is he going to be able to swerve us? Good swat. Beautiful swat. You know... Sometimes I, that does piss me off that, you know, they don't intercept that pass. But in that situation, I'll take a good old swat. But we're taking over here on offense. I mean, we're just playing great defense. 
so far that, you know, at this point, it's really just don't mess anything up. We're just gonna freeform that, get to the outside. All right, second and five here um, from the 20. It looks like he could be blitzing us, so we're just gonna take the snap. He's just in man. We have our corner out open, laser. Come on, BLT, let's go. And when I call that play a lot of the time, I just wanna see can my corner out get open. I'm really one of the two corner routes, the corner out to the tight end and the corner out to the um, slot receiver there. And that time I just uh, just fried the guy right off the ball and we were able to score. So 14 there. we're controlling this game on defense and making it easy on offense. D, come on, man. He's strapped. He is strapped. This dude told him, he came right up to me in person and said, yeah, I could really beat you on NCAA. Yeah, bro, everyone thinks that until they line up on the sticks, man. It gets scary out here. I mean, he just has nothing right now. This is the defense, though. I like this. I like this. I'm everywhere with my user, man. I'm everywhere. Come on. This dude about to get out here early. Just what I said. Move on to game two, man. It's not even a video worth of film. What's up, YouTube? Before we jump back in this video, I need you guys to go hit me with a follow on social media. My TikTok and my Twitch are BLT for Life 21. It's gonna be on the screen. And then my Instagram and my Twitter is BLT for Life 22. Go hit me with a follow over there. We'll definitely make a better college football and really Madden player. I upload tips on both of those on all my social media. So hit me with a follow over there and let's jump right back into the video. All right, game two here. He said, you know, white on white was throwing them off and that's why he was throwing some of them books so you know that's a pretty lame excuse not one that i haven't heard before though terrible return by him um but you know this is cool we're gonna be fine here new game he's got miami and you know the heisman favorite at the moment i think his name's cam ward so you know he's definitely got a good team we're just gonna use colorado again to me it doesn't really matter what team i have as long as i have one of the best quarterbacks in the game the rest of the team is just unimportant to me, but it helps to have Travis Hunter too. But uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, he takes his check down. Good check down. He's doing good to try to. Oh my goodness! This guy can truck. That is I mean, stiff arm. I mean, bro, who is this guy? And I don't know why my face cam was like frozen or whatever. Um, but I, bro, I don't know why they ever added booth reviews into online gameplay. No one asked for that. Good defense, good defense. That's great. He was trying to throw to his running back who literally just wasn't open. I think versus this dude, I think I'm gonna turn zone drops off. I don't really think there's a reason to have zone drops on. Um, but like I said in the last game, y'all want this defense? You know, just go watch the video. I mean, it's one of my it was one of my best videos setting up a screen. I don't really know what he's doing, but yeah, it's one of my best videos. Y'all really seem to love it, and you know. We continue to show off the defense here in online gameplay because some of y'all just call me a practice mode merchant. So we're here to show that, you know, we can actually still play this game at a high level. Um, but here we're going to, I think I might just drop everyone. Actually, no, I want to get after him here. Good. Beautiful. We got, yep. Yeah. That's just, that's so good, BLT. That's so good, BLT. Come on. Good user. Bait him into throwing that. We have a fur hook there. It's just easy. It's just easy, man. Come on. All right, this is the play here. Gonna go with a little motion slant. Confirms that it's actually gonna be man coverage. Beautiful BLT. That's why you put slants in the field. Just outstick him. Come on. All right, first and 10 for him here. You know, um, I mean, he's struggling in offense. There's, you know, really nothing else to be said about that. You know, tries to go that. You know, we're running a man zone hybrid, so. Normally in my defensive e books, I do talk a lot about um, like the blitzes and stuff, but you know the coverage behind it is pretty important too. And for me, I normally like to mix it up. I do. I don't normally run a lot of cover three, but versus people who don't call a lot of shorts like corner routes, I do call a lot of cover three because I mean there's no reason for me to call anything else. I mean. He's not playing good offense right now. He's dropping too far back in the pocket or blitz. I'm not even, I didn't even pass him at that play. I don't think and the blitz just still loops around. I mean, this is probably one of the easiest defenses in my opinion to run in this game. And it's pretty effective also because a lot of people don't, you don't really play against this a lot. So whenever you have something that, you know, people don't really get to lab against, you know, 
people don't really see a lot of this. Uh, just bad user by me. I mean, we still come and make the tackle to make it fourth and 10. So we'll see what he goes with. I mean, this is what we got people doing at. We got people punting out here in college football 25, man. System. But, you know, man coverage is an inconsistent defense. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so. Good user, though. Bring that pass in. Kind of pass out that ball down so we can come back to it. Take the snap here. I mean, he's running so much, man. Like, it's insane. I don't know why I didn't just slide. I actually pressed B instead of X, which is insane. But running a lot of man, I kind of want to figure out a better way to beat this. But honestly, it might just be Travis Hunter in this post. But, you know, we should have it. He is in cover zero. It is open. Is it open enough, BLT? Laser, man. Come on. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's good user, man. That's a disciplined user sitting there for the run. Like this is, people are gonna try to run. If you run this defense, for those of y'all out there, if you try to run this defense, people are gonna try to run the ball on you. But good user, I mean, good play by him. Kind of crosser and a running back angle route made me pick my poison with my user. But like I was saying, when you run this defense, people are gonna try to run the ball on you because you have a spread defensive line. And for those of y'all who don't have the skill of gap shooting mastered, this defense isn't going to be very fun for you to run because you're going to get toted on a lot. But early on in the game, people try to run the ball on me and they just realize that they can. So it's like not a big deal. Uh, he keeps putting his running back on an in route. And it's like, I don't have him manned up. I might need to just start because that's literally the only thing he's going to right now. And, and I, I, I can't. I can't use it as a running back all game. Like that just can't be a thing we do. So we just gotta figure it out. But he went to this the first play of the game. I think we just actually need to just run more all out man coverage. I don't think he can beat it. I think it's gonna be tough. I should have passed committed though. That's not open. I mean, what am I watching right now, man? I mean, at least we came up and made the tackle because I really thought he was gonna score off that, but. Uh, don't you just love when your opponent just chuck the ball right at your face and you can't catch it? I mean, it's probably my favorite thing about this game, actually. Good play by him. I didn't have him manned up either. He's calling a lot of stupid plays and he's getting so bailed, bro. Just gotta play better defense. I don't know. This has just been such an easy drive for him after, like, striking out his last six drives that it's kind of pissing me off. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys something right here. This is a situation that might come up in a game for you guys. Goal line normal from the eight-yard line. Now, never come out in goal line against goal line unless it's, like, inside the four-yard line. Don't ever do that. Like, he's just going to run toss, and, you know, we're going to come and make the tackle. I think he probably should have just taken that all the way to the edge. But, and, like, you might give it up. Like, like I would say even there's even been situations where it's fourth and inches at midfield and they were on goal line. I don't run goal line versus them. It's just an easy way to give up a touchdown like by them like just motioning a guy out or running play action because you have a bunch of big dudes in the field. So you don't want to ever do that. Um, but here we'll see what he goes with. Just what? How was that? Oh, uh, why would I run man from that yard? Like, I was so close to putting a hard flat in the field too. I don't know why I didn't, but he's gonna go for two. I, I, I don't know, I don't understand what people's obsession is for going for two in some of these situations, but I guess we'll let him do whatever he wants. I mean, thank you, good swat. Like, that's what should've happened in the last play, but it's all good. All right, we'll see if he, you know, runs the same defense that he just gave a touchdown with. I mean, it would kind of surprise me if he did, but not really, honestly, so we'll just see. He's in the same thing. We're throwing the same thing. It's open once again, Travis Hunter. Can we get there? I mean, why would you run cover zero against Travis Hunter? That's just so stupid. Put a safety over the top. You can't guard this man. He's a multi-positional player. No, great defense. That's what I like to call a coverage sack right there. I mean, not only did he have bad pocket press, he kept dropping back. Um, but yeah, no one got open and you know, our, it gave our guys a chance to just loop around that edge. I love this defense. I love loop defenses because I hate playing against them as an offense. So that's why I also love running them in. I mean, he's throwing right at my user. So predictable. I mean, a defensive masterclass truly out here. But anyway, we'll just have to beat it. And we'll take that spin. 
good. Come on, get inside the six. I mean, this game is a flood. He's not even getting it. He's not getting any pressure on the quarterback either. Like, it's hard to win, honestly. It's hard to win playing the defense that he's playing. I mean, he's not getting any pressure. His main coverage isn't playing very well. Just, I mean, not only is it just dumb defense, but he's also just not really helping himself out right now. I'm gonna sit in man, so probably just a corner out, honestly. Touchdown. It's just too easy, man. Dumb defensive players, just sit in man. It's just nice and simple, nice and easy. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I mean, we're we're calling the same play that's been having success. Travis Hunter in this post. And the reason why this works, I'll go ahead and put an arrow on the screen. This outside corner that's manned up on Travis Hunter, he has outside leverage. So our post, especially when we have 95 speed, is just naturally gonna be a man beating route. It's actually not, it wasn't open there. That guy actually played pretty good coverage, but that's why it was open the first two plays. And just because it was open the first two plays doesn't mean it's gonna work every time, right? You see that time he actually guarded it pretty well. And we'll see if he uses it here. I kind of feel like he's going to, but you know, we're just gonna call the same play, honestly. Yeah, he bumps it. I mean, we probably had, oh my goodness. We probably had Travis Hunter open again because it's hard to use our post all the way down the field, but this is just a really good man beating play. So here, nope, still in stupid man coverage, but we're gonna try to get out here, slide with Shadir good. I mean, it's just so easy on offense, literally so easy. Doesn't really matter what they run, we can certainly beat it. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have our corner out there to a tight end. Spin move. Oh no, spin move? Alright, I tried to spin. Guess I didn't need to. I mean, this is a flood, bro. Might just need to cut the game three, honestly. Alright, game three here. Um unfortunately all my friends and all of my chat is not on. So we're playing a random here, but you know, we have Georgia, he has Ohio State, so it should be a definitely a pretty fair team matchup here. Um, and yeah, you know, Georgia has a good offensive playbook and a good defensive playbook. So if y'all don't know what to run, obviously, I mean, it's Georgia, right? Number one ranked team in the game, but you know, they're pretty good, <laughs> obviously. It's kind of anticipating a spin move as well. Good play by him though on first down. Always talk about it. Have to make sure you're shooting the gaps with their user. I wasn't, he clicked at me there as I was talking. Oh man, oh man. Come on, come on, VLT, lock in on defense. Right, he's gonna go empty here, no back. Um, talk about our empty defense earlier. I mean, ooh, we have a middle third on the field for a reason, and we can't catch a pick, man. Uh, I love dropping interceptions. It's actually the reason I get on this game, you know, because I know if I get on the game, I'll drop picks. I'm sending five at him in pass committing. I, I just don't care. Actually, I can't do that. I have to man up his running back. But he's going to run. Oh, he, good play action. Good play. I mean, it was it was a good play action if he would have canceled it earlier. With those play actions, you can't carry them all the way out like that. You have to cancel them because your offensive line doesn't block very well in play action plays, contrary to popular belief. All right, we're double mabling him here. Got to make sure we get these adjustments off. And then we're going to pass commit. And yeah, no, what? Thank you. Like, what is that? I mean, are we going to make the court? Hmm. She ran out of room on the sideline. All right. So, you know, Georgia, like I said, they have a good playbook. So one that, you know, I did run a lot earlier in the year. But we're just going to go with smash return here. Uh, playoffs getting kind of low. Need to take the snap here. We have time in the pocket. He's sitting in a lot of zone. And he's kind of, is he going to use the D line? Uh, I don't know if this playbook has verticals, but luckily we have custom stems in this game. So we're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and make verticals ourselves here. What? Why is he running that? Oh, good. I mean, we just take our check down there, get up to the three. Honestly, here, I think I'm just going to run base. This is a situation where it gets kind of tough to pass the closer you get to the uh, goal line. So, and, but he's stacking the box. You know, normally when people stack the box like this, they're just going to give up flood. So, that's what we're going to do here. I just call stock flood. Uh, he took it away, but he didn't take away the running back. Beautiful. Come on. That's just eye progression. First look to A and then come back to, you know, um, the running back Y. If you're not base aligned, the buttons change for every formation that they call. Some of them are gonna be similar, 
but they change every time and that time they changed and I wasn't expecting them to so I messed up my adjustments that's what's kind of annoying about them taking baseline out of this game personally for me personally um because i typically do run that's just great defense get the little screamer the the loop but i do run a lot of hybrid defenses and without baseline it's kind of annoying all right fourth and 16 here for the opponent um we're just sitting in cover two i shouldn't have been sitting in cover two. i meant to put a middle third in the field but great defense and we take over come on still gonna consider ourselves national champions Good defense by him that's just so bad by me that's just something i preach all the time take your check downs and it's just something i didn't do right there should have just thrown um our flat to our good old tight end but we're gonna go with this gonna go with deep attack maybe this post gets open dot oh that's a dot who that's a dot blt the ref was in my way like i couldn't even see him but let's go all right second and three for him he's down 14-0 so Probably gonna have a sense of urgency here. He's gonna go with either this. I mean, there's three. I'm about to say, like, there's three guys there. I don't know why this dude keeps lobbying passes, but it's all good for us, at least. Ooh, can I get another D-line pick, man? I need my D-line picks more often. Man, I need to play this game more, bro, because it's like... The switch stick is really the, the, the skill gap in this game. Like, I've seen in the MCS some crazy switch stick. And it's like, bro, I don't even be thinking about that because I barely get any reps on this game. Like, he's going to try to spin. He didn't spin. And these third down situations are almost always, you know, one of my favorite opportunities to run a cover two hard flat. Um... But he's gonna run the ball. Can we make that tackle? Good job, 17. Good job. And I'm gonna call my first time out too. All right, he's running a, you know, kind of an offset formation here. Um, just gonna sit in cover two though. Just gonna, uh, ooh, he threw that. He should've just thrown the running back scissor out. I was kind of looking at it with my user. I'm like, is he gonna throw that? He didn't, he just threw right in my user. All right, third and seven here. Um, gonna go with this play, basically a flood concept over here. And yeah, we're gonna have our running back out of the backfield. Can we bring it in and pick up that first? Good, I'm gonna call my second timeout too. I mean, he's just having a sleepy user, really no user over the middle of the field. So we're able to just take advantage of that with that running back and we're out. All right, first and 10, gonna go with this play here. And yeah, we're gonna have our tight end corner out possession, catch that beautiful right before that deep half. Um, and right over the top of that cloud flat. All right, this situation is another one where you just have to play smart situationally. We understand that we have no timeouts and the worst thing that can happen is taking a sack right here. We have to make sure that we at least get a field goal out of this, make this a three possession game, but oh my, no, no, that's so bad, that's so bad. I had, that's so bad. I say that and then I just do one of the dumbest things ever. It's like, it would have been a wide open touchdown if he didn't get bumped. What the heck? We can snap? Snap. Touchdown. I didn't think we were gonna be able to take that snap. I mean, in Madden, there would have been a massive runoff, but I guess in this game, it's not really like that, but that was still just really dumb by me to do that. But I didn't think he would get bumped, but you just have to, you know, play for stupid stuff to happen where you just get cheated, so. But it doesn't really matter. We don't really like to use result based analysis there, but that situation will take the touchdown for sure. And I mean, I love running Gun Bunch. I, I really tell you guys, you know, it's just, I don't really get to run it a whole lot because normally I'm in tight slots, but sometimes when I do these gameplays with these teams and they have Gun Bunch, I mean, Gun Bunch is just, it's just really j majestic. It's really just um, peak, Peak Madden and peak college football, like just peak offense, being able to run Gun Bunch at its highest level. I mean, it's just so flawless and effortless. Just such a, you know, perfectly designed formation by EA that just seems to be good in every game. And you know, when you can learn how to run a good Gun Bunch, you know, it's gonna be tough. You can see we're 11 for 11, only 94 yards out of like three short fields here. But I mean, it's just so, so, so aesthetic. All right, second and seven here, looking over the middle. Uh, we'll take off with Beck. I mean, it's easy right now. He's either sending three or, I mean, he's just playing cover two. So uh, two, two of my favorite things to play against in this game. So 
Uh, yeah, it's just really easy for us right now. All right, third and one here. Should just be able to pick this up with the yeah, an easy out route. Possession catch, at least uh, average players. Sometimes even good players don't see a whole lot of it, but if Carson Beck would deliver that ball, just a good dot. No one in the middle of the field where we have that streak to clear out the middle third, and then we just run a guy right under him, and he's out of there. I actually forgot how this road to the cultural playoff works. It's literally the road to the cultural playoff. It's not actually, I thought it was just the 10th game is your national championship, but uh, I guess not. So, you know, maybe in another video, we'll have, you know, our national championship game there for you guys. But yeah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta edit this video. This video, I'm recording it on Saturday. It's going out on Sunday. So gotta get to it. It's already like 11.22. So gotta get out of here. Go edit the video, make the thumbnail, get it out for you guys. But let me know if you guys learned anything. If you have any questions, you know, how you run one of the best defenses, in my opinion, the best defense, honestly. And it really doesn't get a lot of attention. I don't really see a lot of people running it, but I haven't actually like played against it. So um, at least not the way that I run it. So the best defense is in the game. Here for you guys, a gameplay with it. But don't forget to go below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications on, shout me out on TikTok for more short video tip clips. And I'll see y'all tomorrow with another video. Peace.